This is the tricopter I'm working on. It is based off Hall Studios um, design and his recommendation on how to build it. It has uh, most of the same components that he recommended in his video. I'll show you a quick, a quick rundown. It has the uh, RC timer motors and I use the uh, double sided foam tape with the zip ties like he recommended. Um, they're joined together with some of the gold bullets, the motors to the speed controllers. I got the Hobby King uh, 30 amp BEC speed controllers like he recommended. I got the KK2 Hobby Board and I got a Turnigy 9X uh, receiver. It came with the, whoa, there we go, Turnigy 9X uh, transmitter. Uh, I got the rear servo, I think it's an HS82 MG, the same one that he recommended. And uh, I ended up going with his um, his design where it has the uh, single uh, Shearock screw on in the back holding it in. And I used a, a paper clip to, for my servo and I got to get this thing to lean to the other direction. But I haven't done that yet. Uh, but I uh, tried it out just a little bit and it actually gets up and flies. I just tried it in my foyer. It gets up about, I got about a foot in the air and I got scared and put it down. This is the uh, battery I got. It's a Turner G 2.2 amp. And I put the Velcro on the bottom like he had in his video so that it can stick on the front here. And I'm also going to put uh, some uh, more back here so I can move it to the back. I got to build a little cover for it uh, to protect the electronics and um, I'll try to show you a little bit of video footage of it flying in my foyer and the only experience I have flying uh, anything is a uh, little toy quadcopter that I bought off of uh, Banggood and it was like 30 bucks but anyway I will show you a little bit of flight footage but here it is Hall Studio says that the, you can build a tricopter for about a hundred bucks. Well, if you have every, if you have extra parts laying around, you might be able to build it for a hundred bucks. But there's a lot of stuff that I did not have, like everything. So I had to buy everything. I had to buy the transmitter, the receiver, the battery, the everything. Whereas his his build, where he says it's a hundred dollars, assumes that you already have a lot of stuff. Now I really appreciate him building his and showing us how and anyway this is what mine looks like a lot like his thanks to Hall Studio and thank you guys for watching if you like this video hit like and help other people find it thanks